G'day everyone, today we're going to use Python to program the Lego Spike Prime model Leo the Trainer, which could also be found under the unit plan Life Hacks Repeat 5 Times. Python is one of the most widely used programming languages in the world, powering everything from machine learning and automation to robotics and software development. It's readable, versatile, and an essential tool for anyone pursuing a future in STEM or computer science. Now, transitioning from block-based coding to Python on the LEGO Spike Prime is a great way to build real-world skills. And in this tutorial, I'll walk you through the concepts step by step. Be sure to like the video and to subscribe to keep learning Python the smart way. Now let's have a look at Leo the Trainer. Now you can build this model by opening the Spike app. So here's the Spike Prime app. Uh, and then you click on build and then you can build uh, Leo the Trainer over here. Okay, or you can go into the units uh, and then open up life hacks. And then you can build the same model and repeat five times in a more guided fashion. Now, if you click on this, you can watch the video with your students to build the model. Uh, and then we'll connect up our hub. Let's have a look at the block-based code that's, uh, that comes in this module. And then we'll see if we can replicate it as closely as we can using Python. Okay, so we are having we set our motors B and F, and uh, it's interesting how they set these motors up because uh, they have one motor uh, setting the speed at fifty percent and the other one at negative fifty percent, and then they move both the motors in anti-clockwise fashion. Um, normally, if I see something like this, I would use motor pairs because if you use motor pairs, it already reverses the motor direction. Uh, but we're going to use the way that they do it uh, for our particular model. Okay. Let's uh, zoom in a bit closer. Over here, we are moving the motor and then we are waiting until the left side is up. So the left side, if you look at our model here, um, is uh, the side, whoops. So if you if you see this, this is the button uh, uh, on the normal top face of the hub, right? So the left side is this side over here. So when the left side is up, it's detecting. And then what are we doing? We are stopping the motors, B and F, and then we play a sport whistle sound. After that, we repeat five times. What are we repeating? We're moving the motors in the opposite direction, and we do that until the top is now facing up. Then we stop the motors, we make a sound, and then we write the letters go onto the screen. And then after that, we move the motors the opposite side again, until the left side is up, and then we do that five times. So it looks like our little character here is doing a bunch of sit-ups. So that's why it's called Leo the Trainer. It doesn't look like a person doing sit-ups, but you can see just from the face, the strain on his eyes, and the little arms uh, that he's really uh, trying to do those sit-ups. And then, uh, of course, you can change the numbers and make him do 100 sit-ups if you are so inclined. Uh, and then at the end of the code, uh, we play another sport whistle sound. The only challenges that I would say are in these wait until blocks, and I'll show you exactly how to do them in Python. So let's start by uh, going into home, opening a new project, Python, and then we'll call this uh, repeat five times Python. Make sure you've got Python selected, click create. zoom in here so that everyone can see what we're doing all right so we're going to have to import a few libraries here for a second so we have the light matrix because we need to write the go message on the top but we also need to um, import port for our hub because we need to be able to specify which motors are moving we also need to import the motion sensor from the hub which is the gyro um, sensor that's inbuilt. Okay. Uh, we also need to have run loop, or we also need to have motor because uh, we're going to run individual motors. 
and then we're also going to import the sound library from for the app so we go from app import sound okay let's see if that is yeah I think that that should that should be it for now okay so then it says to write the code here uh, and then we have this await code to write the high we don't need that at the moment we don't delete the code if we don't need to um, we'll just comment it out for now and we can always use it later when we need to write some stuff right okay so we'll start by moving our motors motor dot run uh, port F and we're moving at negative 500 degrees per second um, so these medium motors have a maximum speed of about 1100 um, uh, degrees per second so um, oh, to be more accurate we'll go negative 550 that way we can um, simulate a 50% speed okay motor.run do the same thing for port B but this one is moving at positive 500 now this is going to start the motors and they won't stop uh, until we ask them to stop so what are we waiting for we're waiting for the motion sensor to detect to detect when the left side is facing up so we are doing this repeat until block here okay so here it says wait until left side is up so if you think about the wait until block it is exactly the same as repeating something when this case is not met so it's the opposite of the repeat while loop okay so wait until is exactly the same as a repeat when not <laughs> as a loop does that make sense okay so here we go we're going to go while motion sensor dot up face this is the um the face that is facing up uh, the orientation of the, of the motion sensor um make sure you have these open and close brackets because this is a function uh is not equal to so exclamation mark is the not um shortcut motion sensor dot left continue now this whole um, li two lines here is the same as wait until left side is up okay so wait until left side is up is actually a loop even though it doesn't look like a loop it actually is a loop because it is a loop that um, that is frozen until this case is met and then here when we are doing our code in Python, you can see how that works. We say while the motion uh, sensor up face is not equal to the motion sensor left, then we are just continuing this loop. Just keep keep on looping until this is um, the case. Okay. And then what happens when we meet the criteria? We stop the motors and then we play the uh, the whistle sound. Whoop! This debug menu keeps popping up motor.stop port f do the same for port b and then we're going to play the sound so we're going to say await because we want to wait until the sound finishes playing sound.play and you can see all the different sounds that we can put uh, into our our argument here we need to look for sport whistle sport whistle one here we go sport whistle one that's good after we play the sport whistle one we can now start our loop to repeat this thing five times so we write a loop by using the for keyword for i in range five how did i know to use for I in range to write a loop and that's actually basic Python so if you ever want to learn Python um, in a more structured way then make sure you follow my videos here we go we're going to repeat five times motor.run well actually it's exactly the same as this except we're rotating the opposite direction so we're going to rotate this one positive 500 negative 5 ooh, 
550. I didn't change that for the second one, did I? Here we go. Fixed it now. And then we do the same thing. We're going to wait until the motion, motion sensor is facing the top. So here, top. And then what do we do? After the top is faced up, we are going to stop the motors, make the male jump sound, right go. Okay, and then rotate the other way. Okay, so here, we're going to stop the motors. Then we'll go sound up play. Oh, what is it? Male, male jump, I think it's called. Male jump one. Now jump one. And then we're going to write the letters go. Oh, and we had one up here, didn't we? So we'll just copy all of that. Go. Wait like matrix go. And then we spin the opposite direction again. And then wait until it falls back down. So here, we're going to spin negative 550 and positive 550. And then we wait until the motion sensor up face is left again. And then we stop the motors. And then finally, after everything is finished, we get out of this loop and then we play Sport Whistle 2. So let's review our code. First, we are rotating our motors in opposite directions until the left side of our hub is facing up. Then we stop our motors and then we play the Sport Whistle. And then we're going to loop five times in which we are going to reverse the direction of our motors until the top of the hub is facing up. Then we are going to stop the motors, play the sound, write the words go, and then repeat that over and over again. Okay? So let's play this and see if it works. That's cool. So uh, this character um, uh, is now working exactly the same, um, in the exact same way as the block-based code, uh, including all the sound and everything. I remember in a previous video, I didn't get the sound working, but uh, thanks to your comments in the comment section, you were able to guide me to get the sound working. So thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, this is uh, really, really fun. This is a really cool, way to introduce your students to Python. So if you're enjoying Python for Spike Prime, then you should consider joining my channel membership. For the price of lunch, you can get access to hundreds of hours of Python, C++, Scratch, and other coding lesson replays for advanced students. By becoming a member, you also directly contribute to my channel so that I can keep making more coding videos and content. Become a member today by hitting the join button below. And that's it from me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.